Hi there, how's it going? Chris Green here. Wheel of betting, once again. Premier League, Premier League this week. 2-3 to three last week. So close to the treble again. So frustrating. Hull letting me down again. Have I back in Hull this week? No. <laughs> no, I think enough's enough. It's a bit like, we're, you know, you consistently ask a girl and she keeps saying no. You've just got to, you've just got to say, look, enough's enough. She's not interested. How are not interested in making me money? So I'll move on. Three picks this weekend. Feeling confident. Good midweek. So let's go. Burnley against Southampton is the first game. They're all on Saturday. And this is a fascinating game. This is absolutely fascinating. How will, how, how will Southampton react to their one point out of 12? Three defeats and a draw. How will they react to that? Now that they've had their hard games. Now this is a bit of a respite for their tough fixture list. And I think it's a real test of Ronald Koeman's managerial capabilities, whether he can rouse his troops to beat a side they're expected to win against, their odds on against Burnley away at Turf Moor, um, but it's going to be difficult, bearing in mind they've lost uh, three games in a row, that is for sure, um, like, they're unlucky definitely, unlucky against Arsenal, a late late goal, losing that game, and then of course on, on Monday night against Manchester United, with a better side, but still lost, so... You know, there's, there's there's still a lot of things to be um, to be positive about, but this is a, this is a tough test against the Burnley side. I've got a lot of respect for. They look buzzy. They look together. They look motivated. They look they look like a unit, and um, it's not ridiculous to suggest that they might uh, possibly might stay up. Um, just looking through some of the last few fixtures, I think the last game I thought they were outclassed, and were probably the game against Everton in late October. They played pretty well uh, since then. Lost just one game in the last five. Um, they're, they're just about out the relegation zone. So they're, they're, they're a decent side. And I think they got to score in this game. That's my angle here. I think they'll score in this game. They've only scored 10 goals this season. And I appreciate that. But nine of those goals have come in the last nine games. Um, and they've scored in seven of the last nine matches overall. Five in a row at Turf Moor. That's where they're playing on Saturday. Five in a row against Turf Moor. It's enough for me there to think that they're going to score in this game. I also think Southampton will score in this game. So obviously, I'm backing both teams to score. I think Southampton can definitely notch. They've scored in 13 of the 16 games this season. Um, Man City, Arsenal and Spurs were, were the only games they failed uh, to, to score. And no massive shame in that. 25 goals in the Premier League this season. Um, and I think it will increase that on Saturday. I think both these teams will score. And you can get that even money, which is my first... Dart this weekend. Game two, bit of an outsider here, um, but I just got a feeling. Leicester Man City. Um, I'm going under in this game. Yeah. Um, two reasons why. Firstly, I go, there's no Aguero. You know, he's out for three or four weeks. I didn't really see that kick in midweek, but there's no doubt that the absence of him for four, five, six weeks, whatever will cost Man City points at some point. It, it Surely it must. He's, he's scored 14 of Man City's 32 Premier League goals this season. That's almost 50%. Um, and you, you, you've just got to imagine that that will come back to bite them at some point in the next you know, six weeks, definitely. It might happen here. Perhaps not in terms of losing points, but in terms of scoring a certain number of goals. The second reason why I think this could be a low-scoring game is I think the players will be knackered after Wednesday night. Mentally and physically, after what was probably one of the best results in Man City's history, and beating Rome, uh, Roma in Rome uh, to qualify for the last 16 in the Champions League, that must have an effect. There must be a hangover to that. There must be, you know, absolutely buzzing um, for that great result. Job done, you know, job done there. And uh, now they've got a, 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 they're going from the glamour of Rome to the. Uh, not so glamorous Leicester, you'd imagine. Never been there, so I'm not seeing anything against um, the city, by the way. But uh, but but certainly against the team who who are not anywhere near as glamour, glamorous as AS Roma. Anyway, must stop slagging off towns. It looks bad and uh, unintentional. Anyway, shut up. Uh, Pellegrini side well, they've, they've actually failed to score more than two in a league match in ten of the fifteen games this season. So, I would, so, so basically only 5 of the 15 games have scored more than 2 goals in the league this season. Uh, I've another, uh, so I, I think that, that figure will get bigger on Saturday. Leicester having a miserable time at the moment. We, we all know that. 7 defeats in the last 8 games. Nigel Pearson, a man I've got an immense amount of respect for getting a, in a lot of trouble at the moment. 
Uh, but I, th I think I think it was wonderful last week. What you said to the fans, thoroughly deserved. Um, but four of those seven defeats came by just the odd goal. So they're not getting hammered. That's crucial. They're just not getting hammered. They're losing by the odd goal. You feel they're due a bit of luck. It might come on Saturday. Who knows? Um, only three of the 15 matches this season they've conceded more than two goals. I don't think that'll happen on Saturday. Goals, of course, at the same time, hard to come by. Five blanks in a row between mid-October and mid-November. So basically what I'm saying, under two and a half goals here. 13 to eight with Paddy Power. That's where I'm going on Saturday. Finally, last game, and last week I was absolutely stunned at the pace of West Ham. I made that specifically, explicitly clear in the video, and of course they won, which made me look pretty good for a couple of hours. Uh, and this week, the, the, the price that really did make me go, whoo, uh, was Arsenal's price to beat Newcastle. I was expecting them to be around perhaps 8-13. to 13. Fact though, their short is two to five with some bookmakers, which I think is a ludicrous price. I think it's the wrong price, and I have to find a way to take them on on Saturday, uh, Saturday night. That's for sure. Um, I appreciate Arsenal on a very good side. Of, you know, they're better than Newcastle. They've only lost twice at home in the last eighteen months, but they're vulnerable. There's no doubt about that. As I mentioned last week, I mentioned that game. Tell me a performance this season that's been outstanding for the club. I can't find one anywhere. It, you know, performance that really matters, you know. Let's not talk about Dortmund or, or Galatasaray. I'm talking about performances that matter, but the pressure was up. I can't find one. They've won just three of their seven home league games this season. And only one of those victories came with a game to sp a goal to spare, so I've had more than one goal. That was against Burnley. I can't see them pulling away from Newcastle in this game. Newcastle getting a lot of plaudits at the moment. Pardew get a lot of plaudits at the moment. Thoroughly deserved in my book. Uh, seven wins in the last nine games. It's phenomenal form. They've beaten Chelsea, they've beaten Man City, they've beaten Liverpool in that spell. And, and they were the same amount of points as Arsenal after the terrific win at the weekend against Chelsea. Uh, I'm more than happy to back Newcastle here with a goal start and Asian handicap. More than happy. 10 to 7 with Bet Victor, which is a fantastic price. Absolutely great price. Just shot a 6 to 4. Um, so if you lose by the odd goal, if you lose 1-0, 2-1, I get my money back. So it's a push, it's, it's not a defeat. Uh, remember, Newcastle have taken out the best two sides in England this season, Man City and Chelsea. Arsenal have won by more than one goal in just three of the 15 games in the Premier League this season. That was against Burnley, Sunderland and Aston Villa. And I happen to think that Newcastle are a class above those three sides. So my three bets, BTTS in Burnley, Southampton, under two and a half in Leicester at Man City. And Newcastle plus one in the Asian handicap against Arsenal on Saturday. Have a great weekend.